Hello friends, my name is Theo and today in this exciting Meissner Media behind the scenes slash vlog slash tutorial slash part two of whatever, we are going to be mounting this bad boy. So, in the last part we got electronic things fixed and hooked up and working. Now we're going to do mechanical stuff, which is, you know, different. So, I made a trip to the hardware, well, to like five hardware stores today and finally ended up finding a screw that would fit for what we need for this. So, a uh, picture on the screen right now of the screw I ended up getting and then I had to get some washers to adapt it, but you know, washers are washers. So, here's my handy little pocket screwdriver. Take off this guy. You can probably find uh, these screws online for your servos, but I didn't want to wait for shipping because I'm having a lot of fun with this project even though it's pretty easy you know maybe that's part of the reason why I'm having fun I also picked up some curtain hangy things it turns out Ace Hardware hashtag not sponsored is like one of my new favorite stores that was great all right so look how tiny this screw is I couldn't find one with a bigger head so I had to get these ridiculous washers these were 20 cents each that was ridiculous but you know I wasn't going to argue, because the guy spent like 10 minutes trying to find the right stuff for me. Not 10 minutes, like probably 4 minutes. So here's this. Then this will go onto here. And I'll probably end up having to cut this screw down, which is fine. Let's see how far we get. You're pretty close. These pocket screwdrivers are just the best things ever invented, by the way. Oh. Oh! I don't even need to cut it down. This is a good day. Wow! I was not expecting that to be that simple. Just crank this bad boy down. Now I've got a follow focus gear on our servo motor. I'm using a big one right now because this motor doesn't have a super far throw on it. Eventually I will upgrade to a um, sailing winch servo motor which can do more rotations but this like I said is just the one I had laying around so you know version 2.0 will be different. Okay so that was way easier than I thought it was going to be. Next, I got this piece of scrap metal. Not scrap metal, it's a thing I was going to use for something else, but that ended up not. Found it in my garage. And then I got some screws for it. So these are going to be two plates. Oh, I will show you. All right, now we're back. So I got this thing for 50 millimeter rails that I wasn't using. And what we're going to do is put this guy right there. And then make little things so this guy can have a plate here, maybe a plate through here on top of there or something. And then explaining that's hard and sandwich them together. So without further ado, let's get started making this. This little servo has a big job to pull focus and to make things sharp. And this little servo never knew the important tasks it would have to do. Home, please work. Home, please work. And this little servo is a little bit loud, but that's okay, it's on a steady cam now. Cause music videos don't give a dick If your follow focus is loud, the video's M.O.S. Home, please work Home, please Alright, so hopefully this will be a good temporary mounting solution. I will do something better later, but for now this will work. Let's go put this on and test it. Well, look at that.
For a first try, I say that's pretty okay. So obviously whenever I get a different servo that has a little bit longer of a diddly boop on there, it would be better. And just a better servo in general. But for now, as a proof of concept, that is working pretty good. Let me put some recording media in this camera and see what can happen. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this part two of the tutorial. I'm sure there'll be another part where I make things pretty and put a different servo on there and other things, but for now, you know... Oh, goodness, that sounds terrible. But for now, we have something that's working and is, you know, pretty cheap. Once again, this board was like 40 or 50 bucks. I had the battery laying around. Oh, hmm. this antenna came off. Uh, the servo was probably like 14 bucks. I had the mounting thing laying around. You know, pretty inexpensive. <laughs> anyway, if you want to see more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to the Mr. Media YouTube channel. These type of videos are actually kind of rare. Uh, a lot of, lot of tutorials. Shh. Also, check out MeesterMedia.com slash products for cool stuff that is good. Uh, share this video with your friends because this is a pretty cool little project. Once again, I'm with you with Mr. Media. Hope you have a great day, and I will see you next time. Bye.